Uh, my mom's a Ghanaian. Oh my god. My mom's a Ghanaian. She drinks her always a cocoa in Calabash. She claims it tastes better that way. We use this, but for time's sake and also to save your wrist, this. Olivia, as, as a typical Ghanaian, you are supposed to use this. This is called Aiwa. Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Ambassador Vix, and I am back with another awesome video on this channel we talk about the positivity about africa and africans guys just as you guys accepted to see the part two of this content featuring olivia and the family you know depicting the Ghanaian culture this is the part two of it so i'm not going to talk for long let us go right into the video and after that i'll give my comments i'm about to annoy mama Girl, my mom's a Ghanaian. Oh my god. My mom's a Ghanaian. Why is she drinks her always a cocoa in Calabash. Calabash. She thinks it tastes better that way. It's better that way. I'm sending your ass to the village. Go! <laughs> my mom's a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. What's that? Of course she uses Maggie Cube to make her soup and stew. Uh huh. My mom's a Ghanaian. Of course she finds a way to include eggs in every meal. She just made rice and egg stew. Mm. My mom is a Ghanaian. Of course if I say I have a sore throat or I'm coughing in front of her, she'll tell me to cut up ginger, ginger coat course. it in sugar, and chew it. Mm. Mm, it's pretty good. Of course. My mom's a Ghanaian. Uh -huh. Of course, I have uncles and aunties that I've never heard of. I even got TikTok aunties. Hi, TikTok aunties. Hi, and sister. Saying, hey, yo. Since my mom wants to talk about how much I eat gari, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about how much she eats eggs. My mom is a Ghanaian. Of course, if she wants a snack, she's going to ask for hard-boiled eggs with moko. Do you guys moko? know? The obsession Ghanians have with their eggs, they can eat it with light soup, they can eat it for breakfast, mm -hmm. they can eat it with watch it. They mm -hmm. basically eat it like every day. So, I'm going to show you guys how my mom eats her eggs. All right. I already have some hard-boiled eggs, so I'm going to show you how to make the moko. Okay. So, I have tomatoes, red onions, mm -hmm. regular onions, mm -hmm. habanero pepper, and garlic in here. Okay. And I'm going to blend it up. Normally, we use this, but for time's sake and also to save your room. No, 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 no. As a typical Ghanaian, you're supposed to use this. For you to be able to, you know, um, get the taste of the pepper, you're supposed to use this. So in as much as we are white lady, and because of modernization, just, you know, take it away. Let us use this and enjoy. As simple as that. This is it. This is it. This is called Ayua. This is called Aiwa in the Ghanaian language, all right? But continue using your blender. So I'm gonna blend it just a little bit because I don't want it to be like smooth. I want it to be a little chunky. And add some salt. And I also have some thin cut up onions, which I'm gonna put in here. This is moko. It's really fresh. And it's basically like mm. Ghanaian salsa. I'm gonna put the moko <laughs> inside the eggs. This is the final snack. And since I'm the chef, I'm gonna try it first. That's your own room. That's Rose's room. Mom, Dad. Yeah. I made you guys. She's inviting the mother. Ooh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's the mother and that's the father. Because I know okay. it's your favorite. Because you're not going to be able to US. Spicy. Spicy. Yeah, it's very spicy. Kenyans, so, you like spices? What do you want? Nothing. What do you uh, want? <laughs> Why? Was the daughter trying to bribe them? No, no. Good. So Olivia is stuck in her okay. room. And I'm What's this? Check what she's up to. Yeah, it, it even surprises me that in this in this video Olivia didn't come first. What am I going hey, wrong? Hey, what's your name? <laughs> you over there. I said, that what's your name? My name is Roman. Romanus. So, you're stuck in your room for empty hours. I'm holding my laundry. Hmm. Hey. Say hi to the people. Hello, peoples. 
Hi, Olivia. So guys, Olivia's doing her laundry. Finally! It's red. Laundry. Don't turn on the light. You hate it. Look at this beautiful hair. Who did this for That's you? Natural. There's no wig. My mama did. This is a natural hair. Yeah, who? My mama. Mm. Wow, is it snowing outside? Because I'm surprised you're doing your laundry. Hair. I am so surprised. What you what made you want to do this right now? I don't know. <laughs> I felt like it. I finally got fed up with my room being messy, so mm. I'm cleaning it. I can't wait because I always see you with them. <laughs> Honestly, that just happens. Like I'll clean my room and then I'll get messy again, and then I just get so annoyed at it over time, and then I'm, one day I'm just like, you know what? Mm -hmm. That's your own room. I love you. Anything else? I love you. Hmm. I love you too. She the, I love the what chemistry between them. What is you this? Know? Olivia. Wait, that looks creepy. What? Oh, that? Yeah. That's Ari. I drew it for Ari. Alright, I'm leaving. Okay. But okay. I'm taking this with me Bye. and I'm messing up your clothes. <laughs> Rating our top 10 Ghanaian foods. Top 10 Ghanaian foods. Okay. Oh, Let us see. Oh, I'm PC. I like this. I'm PC. I'm PC. It's one of my favorites. I'm PC. Contumbrous too. We're plantain. Oh. Yeah. And pear. And pear. Oh my Avocado. god. Avocado. <laughs> um, I'm PC. I probably put I'm PC and. Yeah, I'm pissy. I'm pissy. good in the afternoon. I'm pissy. I'm pissy. Seven, mm, six. Number six. Okay. Number six. Corn porridge. Oh. Corn porridge. Eat that all the time. Yeah. Um. Bolo coco. Seven, eight. Eight bolo coco, not corn seven. porridge. Yeah, breakfast. Jollof, jollof rice. rice. Now this is Ghana jollof. This who, is not Nigerian jollof. Rice? jollof. Rice. You. Me. Yes. Or you. Yes. You. Okay. I think, number, I, think, I think it goes number three. That's, number that, three. That's pretty okay. high up. Number three. Plantain, Plantain chips. chips. See, guys, no. guys. I know that I'm, so, I'm, I'm not supposed to say this, but still, the Ghana jollof is more delicious than the Nigerian jollof. But hey, let me know whether the Ghana jollof and the Nigerian jollof, which one is delicious. But me, I'll choose Ghana jollof over Nigerian jollof several, several, so many times. Plantain chips for number yeah. four. Plantain chips taste amazing. Number seven. Plantain okay. chips. Okay. Number seven. Gary and beans. Mm. Hey, Gobe. Oh, Gobe is I a savior. Beans. You, you like it? With palm oil. You should be. You're a Ghanaian. Yeah. Um, I'll put Gary and beans number, um, number five. Yeah. Gary and Beans has saved a whole lot of people in Ghana. Fufu. Fufu. Mm. Oh. Fufu. Is that Fufu. number two? Number four? Hey. How would you rate it? Olivia, is it number two? I put that pretty high. I'd probably put that number two. Fufu, num okay. yeah. Fufu number two. Are you sure? Fufu should be number one. Or? That's true. You know, Sunday, like, you know. Mm-hmm. You get that Fufu with light soup, you know? Yeah. Okay, number two. I see. Kinky. Mm -mm. That's number four. Kinky. Oh, I think. Got kinky or what? Or should that be number one? Ooh, kinky. That's oh, really good. Kinky. I'll put kinky number, um, number four. Okay. Hey, I hope. Hmm, we get Hopefully, a, we get a good. Watch. No. Wait, no. What is that? Wasawa. I don't know your tribe, but. Sunday. Why should you put a PC? I don't know what wasawa is. Number six. I thought I said watch it for a moment. Kose. Wasa, wasa. I don't know. Okay, so. I kose. like kose. You've never had kose before. No. But I can only eat kose with koko. So, number nine. Yeah. Number one. Number nine. Oh, yeah. Lord! <laughs> you put what? Gary number one? Of course. Gary Sokins. Olivia likes oh, Gary. Oh, my God. Just click it, please. She's the first ever oh, white lady. Why Gary? Why number she one? She enjoys eating Gary. So, the Gary order Sokins. is Gary, Fufu, Jollof Rice. Uh, I can't <sighs> read that other one. Really? Number one? It's tiny. Yeah. Mm. Olivia! What's going on? What would possibly go? 
See, this is very suspicious in as much as you know, we've, we've not seen this video. It is quite suspicious for an African or a Ghanaian man to call the daughter and she begins to smile or laugh. That means that there, there, there might be something going on. So let us see what will possibly go on. Where um, Ike. parents send their toddlers to the bathroom to say all kinds of bad words that they want to say. This is a trap. Um, I want to see if it's going to work on you. Okay. Okay, so you're going to stand here and you are this going is a trap. to say all the bad words you want to say. I'll step out. I'm not going to be in here. You can say whatever An you want. An African mom telling you to do Just this. Let it out. <laughs> Olivia. All right, so I'm gonna step out. Okay. okay. All right. Olivia, I'm Call advising me when you to you're do done. it. Okay. This is a trap. I'm a Ghanaian, and I'm telling you right now, this is a trap. Don't do it. She will come back and listen to what you said. Thank you. This is a trap. I have a feeling this is a trap. Thank you. <laughs> you are thinking like an African. Um. Don't say it. Very smart I'm, lady. I'm not gonna say any bad words. My mom's got me. You, that, that's not gonna end well. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Ma! You done? Yeah. <laughs> you let everything out? Yeah. That was fast. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the end of today's episode on, you know, Vice Men TV. So many people were asking me, why have I all of a sudden changed the content and bringing this wise lady on, the, you know, on my platform? You see, the content or the channel that I created, I created for people, the Europeans and Africans, to share their unique, unique perspective about Africa and Africans. So the focus of the content creation has still not changed. But for the fact that, Regardless of modernization, the mother has been able to inculcate, imbibe, and also, you know, able to socialize the Olivia together with the siblings, the Ghanaian culture. I found it necessary and pretty interesting to show to you that in as much as some people in Ghana are not all that proud about the Ghanaian culture, someone also in the U.S. appreciates our culture and so therefore depicting our culture for the people you know, to see whatever is going on there. This is their lifestyle, so I told you guys to bring it to you guys for you to, you know, have a look at whatever is going on between Olivia, the mother, and also the family. Let me know what you think about this video, and please subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing content, and like the video, all right? My name is Ambassador Vic. See you in the next episode. Sukoto, Mayande. Bye-bye.